today we're at Ron's Drive-In, and this is the second annual Warm Up Spokane. We're here is to fill this bus. We call it Stuff the Bus. We have a, a classic GM former transit bus. The room inside, we cleared all the seats out of the bus to fill the bus up with sleeping bags, blankets, gloves, coats, socks, scarves, caps. This drive is dedicated to helping our kids and as well as uh, adults who are without uh, proper resources, giving them the necessities to keep warm and follow the magic bus and we're gonna be able to uh, listen to some interactive music from the 50s through the 90s. Soul, folk, rock and roll, and more. Let's enjoy our time here at Ron Drive-In. Hello, my name is Ken Russell. Joe and I found each other through a, a mutual friend that I had at Corbin Park Senior Center. And the reason I, I, I ended up with Jerome was because I was a tap dancer. And I took lessons since uh, January of this year. And I was recovering from a knee injury. So uh, I actually had a total knee replacement. And the dancing has helped. I value my time with Jerome. And uh, one thing that we do is uh, work with little kids, and I take care of the little ones while he's playing the drums. Uh, just a wonderful time we have with each other and with, with, the, with the kids and the uh, parents that come around.
Just brought some things um, to help out. That's great. Um, Thank you so yes. much, Nick. And uh, Linda Thompson. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. I'm Jerome with the Magic Bus Food Care. Hi, Jerome. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Well, you're making magic today. Yes, I am. And all, uh, our magic is about, you know, trying to, you know, make people smile and uh, make them happy with our, you know, interactive music, as well as persons like yourself who help, who are helping our uh, residents here in the Spokane Valley. Yes. And so, I enjoyed the young boys playing on the drum. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they've got a good beat going on. Yes, indeed, yes. And I just really appreciate that you're out here making a difference. Well, thank you. Each one of us can have a contribution to give. This was a sleeping bag that I thought yes. we were going to use. We didn't use. And yes. a coat and some blankets. Just something yes. that could help those who are, are really yes. struggling with homelessness in our community. Yes. Um, we know with the, the how things can turn without a job, without proper education, that just somehow something can cause any one of us to struggle in life. And this is so important that we come together to help. Well, you know, you're a celebrity here in Spokane. <laughs> so if, if you don't mind if you can kind of give some uh, information about who you are, because I certainly know uh, and this is wonderful to be able to uh, have this special occasion. And so Linda, can you kind of give a, uh, you know, uh, our audience uh, who you are? Well, I'm Linda Thompson and I, I have lived in this community since I was 14. I uh, went away for college and lived in Vancouver, Portland a little bit. And I just really have enjoyed growing up in Central Valley schools. I have two children, one in from U High, one from C. They both went to U High, even though I went to CV. But we have great schools, we have great community, we have great parks. We um, can really work together to make sure that we have our public safety is strong, that we have good infrastructure, that we work together in economic development, and we just really bring people together so that we have the infrastructure and community uh, wherewithal to make sure that every citizen can really have a voice and, and be as successful as they can. I wanted to stop by to sit today and see Jerome. And thank you again thank for the you good very job much, that Linda. you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank Linda you. Thompson, Spokane Valley, Washington here. We uh, commend her very much. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right.
Well, we're finished uh, for this evening, stopping the bus, but uh, just prior to leaving um, the Spokane Valley and Ron's drive-in, at least take a moment to talk and visit with the driver of the bus here. We have a, a GM, uh, GMC bus, and uh, Dan is going to give us the year and, you know, uh, and what's uh, the bus uh, involved. So it's a 1973 GMC bus. Uh, it's been gutted to be retrofitted into an RV. Okay. And uh, the couple that we bought it from wasn't able to finish it out, and so yes. we picked it up, and we're planning on doing a uh, marketing blip on there for okay. Spokane Valley Grocery Outlet. Spokane Valley Grocery Outlet, we're gonna really turn this bus into a, a uh, kind of a advertisement yeah. tool. It's just taking some time, yes. but working on it, and That's glad great. to be entered into events, and yes. parades, and trunk or treat. Trunk or treat, so. yes. Dan is going to be um, starting the bus up here, and uh, you know what's interesting about this bus uh, is for the bus fans, um, it's not uh, a, the uh, V6 Turbo Flow uh, General Motor engine. It's been retrofitted with a uh, Caterpillar. I believe it's a 3208. I think so. 3208. And so stick around and uh, this. Uh, Oh, this sounds pretty interesting. Alright. I'm gonna wait for it to warm up and get some air pressure. Have the uh, unique light. 
<laughs> and so it's, this is a pretty interesting coach. And uh, again, uh, I'm going to take my, uh, my, my seat, temporary seat. I'm on the, uh, sitting on the uh, wheel well. So, uh, cool, very neat ride. with a 6B92 diesel, Detroit diesel engine, turbocharged. And as well as a V-drive transmission, V730 transmission. Well, we're back. And so we're gonna uh, really thank Dan for uh, letting us uh, take a little, uh, down, taking us down memory lane. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Now, thank you, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dan, the man from Spokane. Have a good day. Yeah. Beautiful. Son, you're gonna drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. <laughs> Depart now. So, till the next time, see you later.